Hi, it's me, it's Monica, and today I wanted to make a video to talk about consistency, right? So, when you do something that you enjoy doing, right, the more often that you do it, the better you get at it, right? So, maybe it was sports when you were younger, or it was reading, or it was writing, or it was computer programming, like whatever it was, Think back to when you were younger, there was something that you did that you were probably pretty decent at, right? And the more often that you did it, you got better and better at it. Well, the same goes for dressing, right? So whether you're, you know, just a closet cross-dresser, right? Like you're just seedy in the closet, nobody knows that you do it, right? Or you're somebody like me who's more like, you know, you're a trans girl, you, you know, dress constantly, consistency, you know, you present as female, um, you know, you have a ton of clothes, a ton of outfits, you're a little bit more out in the open, right? Um, you know, when I was growing up, all of my girl clothes was hidden in drawers and in the back of my closet, hidden behind boy clothes, right? Today, that's not the case, right? My closet is just my closet, the doors open, all the clothes are there, you know, um, it just is what it is, right? Um, obviously, I make these videos, I have my social media sites and um, you know, I go out in public dressed as Monica, um, you know, my wife and I go out together and we do things, um, you know, I go out shopping for clothes, we, you know, just go have a good time, right? So it's kind of, you know, just one of those things, right? So I'm just saying whether you are on one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum, what I want you to think about and understand is to think about consistency, right? So like maybe your voice doesn't sound exactly how you want it to, or maybe your makeup's not there, right? I honestly need to work more on my makeup, right? I am preaching to myself in this video because my makeup, it's good. I'm happy with my makeup, but you know what? I could be better. My eye makeup could be better, right? And so I need to spend time working at it. I put the same face on consistently. I need to broaden my horizons a little bit. I need to try new things. I need to work at it. I need to do it more often, right? But what I will say is, you know, um, kind of what made me think of it, was um, a little bit earlier today, I put on my 1920s flapper costume. And I will tell you probably about two or three years ago from the time I said, okay, I'm gonna put that outfit on, um, you know, my makeup and everything, it just, it like took forever, right? It really seemed like, you know, doing the garter belt was difficult, um, you know, getting everything looking right was a little bit difficult. And, you know, now that I've been dressing more consistently, you know, pretty much every week, um, you know, a couple times every week, um, it just comes more natural, right? Because I'm doing it more often, I'm being consistent with it, right? Um, you know, doing makeup, same thing, right? If you do your makeup every day, you get better at it than if you do your makeup once a week, right? Or maybe you do your makeup once a month, right? So it's kind of one of those things where you have to be consistent and you have to do it more often, right? I understand maybe your circumstances, you can't, you know, it is what it is, right? If you can't do it more often, there's nothing you can do about it, then that's just kind of your circumstance. It's just what you have to do, right? But what I'm saying is, Take every opportunity, right? If you can only dress once a month, dress once a month, right? Don't skip a month because you're gonna get better at it, right? Same makeup, shoes, accessories, you know, accessorizing, putting your outfits together, your mannerisms, right? Being out in the world dressed as a girl, um, you know, you're gonna get more comfortable with it. You're gonna get more settled in with it. You're gonna get more comfortable with your gestures, you know, with just being a girl, right? So anyways, I just wanted to make a video, video to talk a little bit about consistency because I think it's really important, right? They say practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. You hear all these things all, you know, all your life, people talking about practice. When you're in sports, when you're younger, you literally practice to death, right? If you have any type of form or, you know, plays or, you know, things like that, you practice them over and over and over and over again. And while it might not seem like an apt comparison, dressing, being femme, you know, male to female, it's basically the same thing, right? The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it, the more comfortable you're going to be at it. You know, realistically, you become, um, you know, you just, you're, you're better at it. You, I want to say like more professional at it, right? So actually what I was going to say, but I don't think maybe that doesn't really sound right, but... Um, you know, in a way, yeah, you know, um, cause when I look at myself, when I would dress, when I was younger, like I was an amateur, right? When I was doing my makeup, I wasn't really that good at it. I couldn't even do lipstick lines straight. Um, you know, I'd miss spots with the foundation. Um, when I do my little heart, it would be all wonky, you know, cause I was young and I was an amateur and I've 
done this consistently, you know, consistently year after year after year after year, and I've gotten better at it, right? And so if you're not where you want to be, right, you're cross-dresser, you're trans, male to female, you know, female to male, honestly, you want to get better at it, do it. Do it consistently. Every chance that you get, take advantage of it and do it. Dress is male, dress is female, whatever it is that you're going for. Do your makeup, you know, don't do your makeup. Whatever the look is that you're going for, right? That's what I'm saying is you have to practice, you have to be consistent. And it really works. I can tell you without a doubt, right? Getting shaved, doing my makeup, getting ready, all of those things are so much quicker when I do it more often, right? If you're shaving once a week, right? Your hair's a lot longer, it's gonna take you a lot longer. If you shave every day or every other day, it takes a lot less time. That's basically what I try to do. I really try at this point never to let longer than one day go, right? If I shave on Wednesday, I'm shaving on Friday. I, sometimes I have to let that Thursday go and I don't get to shave, but you know what? I am shaving on Friday because if I wait till next Wednesday or even longer than that, oh, it just takes so long to do, right? So just be constant, be consistent. And, you know, do, if you're enjoying it, if you like what you're doing and you want to do it better, keep doing it and doing it more often. So anyways, I love you all. I just wanted to make a video to talk about that, to talk a little bit about consistency and being constant and doing you know, if you like it and you want to go that road, you know, go down that road, right? You want to be femme. You want to dress like a girl. You want to go out in public dressed like a girl. You know what? You got to practice at it. You got to spend time doing it. It doesn't happen overnight. I've been doing this for years and years and years, and I still can get better. I still can improve. I still, you know, I, I never have a mindset that like, this is the best I can do, right? Like I talked a little bit earlier in the video, my makeup, my makeup could be better. I need to spend more time practicing eye makeup and things like that. So I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I hope they're helping. I hope at some point in some circumstance you're watching my video and it helps you or, you know, you think to talk to somebody else about it or tell somebody else about it and it helps them or it helps you by talking to them about it. That's really why I'm here. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish with these videos. So I love you all. Feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you, right? Comment on the video wherever you're watching it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell on YouTube so you know when I post a new video. Reach out to me on social, right? I am on Twitter. I'm on Tumblr. I am on VK. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram and I'm on YouTube. Any of those six platforms, reach out to me and I'll respond. I'd love to hear from you. And again, like I said, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope the videos are helping. And above all, just remember, consistency, consistency, consistency. That is what is going to help you get to where you want to go.